There's a new non-invasive technology being used to treat liver tumors. NYU is the first hospital in the city to use it, and tonight we're hearing from the first patient to ever receive it. Fox 5's Teresa Priola takes a closer look at the procedure giving new hope to cancer patients in tonight's Big Idea. When I met with Dr. Wolfgang and Dr. Hewitt, I was told that I was stage four pancreatic cancer. Um, my cancer had metastasized to my liver, uh, so I had tumors in my liver as well. It's been a challenging and overwhelming year for Chrissy Martinez. The New Jersey mom was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer last August and says the first doctor she met with didn't offer much hope. I was told I had stage four cancer, which we all know is probably one of the scariest things you want to hear in life. Um, I was told by doctors that there's really not much they can do. They put me on palliative care to buy me some time and I wasn't okay with that. After being rejected from several places, Martinez ended up at NYU. I knew deep down that someone was going to be able to help me. I, I, I was not ready to be done here yet. Um, that's when I found Dr. Wolfgang and he assured me that he was going to help me in any way that he was able to not only him, but his, his staff. The medical team, which includes Dr. Brock Hewitt, decided Martinez would be a good candidate for a new non-invasive treatment called histotripsy. What histotripsy is specifically is it's focused ultrasound that mechanically destroys the tissue. It doesn't use radiation. It doesn't use heat. Um, what it does is the focused radiation creates these tiny micro bubbles and those oscillate really fast. And what that does is that actually destroys the tissue. Dr. Hewitt says right now histotripsy is being used to target liver tumors and it's able to do that without damaging other tissue. Currently, it's only for lesions in the liver. Now, the source of those lesions can vary. It can be colon cancer, it can be rectal cancer, it can be breast cancer, it can be pancreas cancer, it can be small intestine cancer, but it has to be a lesion that has migrated or traveled to the liver itself. It can also be used for primary lesions of the liver. In clinical trials, the procedure had a 95% success rate. It only takes about 15 minutes to an hour and it's used in conjunction with other treatments. Typically combined with what we would call systemic therapy, which includes everything from chemotherapy to immunotherapy to targeted therapy. Very few patients have any what we would consider major complications. The minimal side effects appealed to Martinez who already had undergone chemotherapy. The non-invasive part was a big part of it because going through chemo, you know that your infection rate is extremely high. Um, so knowing that there, the risk was minimal pain possibly, um, I was game for that. After evaluating Martinez, the doctors felt she was a great fit. So with Chrissy specifically, she had demonstrated great disease biology in the sense that she did very well of receiving her systemic therapy. And so for a number of months, she had demonstrated actually disease shrinkage. And so that made her a candidate for histotripsy. And when we evaluated her, she only had one lesion in the liver at the time, and her primary disease had stayed intact. Dr. Hewitt says once they knew they could manage the liver disease with histotripsy, the next step was performing a Whipple procedure to remove the cancer in other areas. It's a procedure where we remove the front part of the pancreas, the small intestine, and some of the bile duct, which is a tube that leaves the liver. With the treatment and the surgery behind her, Martinez will continue chemo to prevent the cancer from coming back. I feel great. Um, no, no complications at all. And I'm ready to just celebrate the fact that hopefully I'm cancer free. Dr. Hewitt is encouraging any patients with liver tumors to be evaluated for histotripsy, which one day may be used to treat other types of tumors as well. The next component in terms of treatment is in the, is in the kidney, and in the kidney that's a clinical trial going on right now at NYU. Hopefully there'll be a day when it can treat pancreas lesions, when it can maybe treat lesions in the breast as well. Um, but really the sky's the limit for histotripsy right now. Martinez is also looking to the future. I mean, I, I have so much hope now. I'm looking forward to things that back in August, I didn't think I would even have an opportunity to be at. My son is gonna be a police officer. I'm gonna be able to be there when he graduates police academy. I mean, these are things that I wasn't sure if I was going to be able 
to do or to be there for um, important things in my life, but now I know that I'm going to be there. And her message to other patients facing a difficult diagnosis. You have to find the doctors that are going to help you and are willing to help you and care as much as my doctors do. I'm, I'm extremely grateful. They've saved my life. Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News. Well, it's fantastic to see, no doubt about it. Great. Wow. All right.